thousand have been ordered this month of the milkweed. It's the butterfly bouquet. You get four pieces of this one. Uh, Steph's live with us on this one again as well. So this is the only plant that the, mo the monarch butterflies will lay their eggs in, right Steph? That's right. This is perhaps, Kirsten, the most important plant that my family, Roberta's, we bring to QVC every year because it is truly the home and the host of the monarch butterfly. And so what I mean by that is, you know, over the last few decades, the monarch butterfly population, for various reasons, has really started to, to decline. Um, but I will say, thanks to all of you at home who've already picked up this milkweed or otherwise known as Asclepius, and by planting it and giving these monarchs a home, uh, you are really truly helping the numbers kind of improve a little bit uh, here and there. But what that means as a host plant is that when the monarchs are doing their migration, they are truly seeking out this specific plant and only this plant. And then once the butterflies find it, Kirsten, they're going to lay their eggs on the underside of the leaves. And once those eggs hatch into the caterpillars, this is the only plant that those caterpillars are going to munch on. And that's a great thing. You know, sometimes we see caterpillars on our plants and we get a little nervous. That's exactly what this plant is supposed to serve for. And then eventually those caterpillars, as we all know, as you see here, that is the caterpillar. That was one of my three plants in uh, Oceanside, California. I was wow. so happy when I saw this little guy. Um, I ended up not even providing him enough food, but that's all to say that if you want to grow the milkweed, definitely pick up a few collections. Um, and then after the caterpillar, Kirsten, they go into the chrysalis and then they emerge into the gorgeous monarch butterfly. So truly, by you planting this, me, everyone in the country, it is a super winter hardy perennial. There's almost nowhere in the country that you, can, you cannot grow this. We're truly doing our parts in saving the gorgeous monarch butterfly population. There, it's it, and they're pretty. I mean, not the only plants are, you, are gorgeous. You're not only are you doing your job to help provide for the monarch butterflies and to keep this gorgeous creature alive, but they're mm -hmm. also gorgeous in your in, in your home. You are getting Absolutely. four actively growing plants. We see them mm -hmm. back here. I don't even can see them back behind um, all of this uh, foliage but four beautifully active growing plants. So less than $7 each. And you're getting one each of the orange, the pink, the yellow, and the white. What, yes. how, and how do I care for these? Totally, and I wanna just mention really quick, Kirsten, this is the first year we've ever brought all four colors together. In the past, we've done different combos of, the, of three. So it's really special that you're getting all four. And like you were saying, it is, they're gorgeous plants. And so you're going to, Pick a place in your yard. Like I said before, pick up two or three collections. You will have no regrets, I promise you. You're going to be graced with those monarch butterflies. These plants, they love, you know, hot, sunny areas. My Uncle Court likes to say that he plants, he has a couple of collections in containers dotted around the patio so that we can go outside and enjoy the monarchs. And then he plants another collection way out, you know, kind of in the woods because the monarchs don't really care for the flowers. They're just going for the leaves. So give right. them a, a set of plants just for themselves to enjoy. But truly, these hybrid milkweed, and, and the reason I said hybrid is because traditionally, milkweed is native to North America. So for one, that means that they're super easy to grow. They're gonna, gonna grow in almost any soil here in the country. But secondly, native milkweed, it's not the most beautiful plant. And like I said, the monarch doesn't really care, but for us, it's, you know, you don't really wanna grow it. So this butterfly bouquet has been hybridized to give us bigger flower umbels on smaller, um, more compact plants. So it's a feast for our butterflies for the monarch, but it's also a feast for our eyes because they are truly gorgeous. And my brother, now he has a design tip. I too. have another design <laughs> tip. Oh, tell I, us. I hope it's not getting annoying. But no, it's great. I think the best way to really use the butterfly bouquet to its maximum potential is to surround it with other plants that the pollinators love, mm -hmm. in particularly the daylilies. The daylilies, those fragrant reblooming daylilies that we showed earlier, are going to bloom at around the same time as our butterfly bouquet. So you can have a whole range of different colors on easy to care plants that grow in the same conditions. It's really just as simple yep. as getting them in the ground and enjoying after that. Beautiful, and you're right. Put them together, like you know, put them with other things that we have. At, oh, look at that! This is fantastic. Look at this video. This is from our dear friend Sandra Bennett. She and her family they grew the milkweed last summer wow. and they made this this time lapse. It's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful story to see with Mother Nature. If you have kids, grandkids, you know, consider a bill to ship to to your grandkids across the country so that they can. Enjoy the beauty of Mother Nature to its fullest, honestly, Kirsten, because you're going to enjoy the flowers. Then you're also going to, you know, help 
truly repopulate one of the most gorgeous butterflies in, in North America, the monarch butterfly. Yeah, they're going fast. Uh, 700 uh, sets have now been picked up. You're getting four pieces actively growing. So that brings it down to less than $7 each, which is nothing for not only the beauty, uh, the ease, but also like we've been talking about, this is kind of your good deed, your, your service Absolutely. back to mother nature. I mean, we want to be really, really protecting the cycle of life and butterflies bring such, such joy to so many people. And the fact that we're, we're having a problem with losing them, this is the only plant that monarch butterflies, if you're just tuning in, will um, lay their eggs. And it is, it's a protect it to them, right, Steph? That's right, yeah, you know, once the eggs hatch into the caterpillar and they start to ingest the foliage, there's actually a, a chemical in there that makes them uh, less desirable to certain, to birds really. And so that's why they only stick to the Asclepius or the milkweed. And then once those caterpillars have eaten their way through your plants, they're gonna go into the chrysalis and then emerge into the gorgeous monarch butterfly. So whether you live in Southern California, here in Pennsylvania, North Dakota, and you have a patio, a deck, a massive estate, by planting this collection, hopefully one or two sets, um, you're truly helping repopulate the monarch butterfly po population, which has unfortunately started to really decline over the last decades. But the good news is, is we are really starting to do our part and the numbers are slowly creeping back up. So like you said, Kirsten, it is like our good deed for the year and you won't regret it, I promise you. Your kids will just be overjoyed to see these butterflies um, coming in and out of your yard. Yeah, a thousand sets now gone. Get them, get them for the kids, get them for the grandkids, uh, get them for yourself because they're just gonna be so, so pretty. And get them, for, get them for Mother Nature because it's a good thing to be doing. And you're getting all of the colors. First time we're doing all of the colors. You're getting the orange, the pink, the yellow, and the white. Four mm -hmm. actively growing plants that uh, is easy, easy, easy to take care of. Yes. Nothing from the Roberta's family is gonna be difficult for you, promise. That's, that's, that's part of why we love it so much. That's, yeah, hard to find, easy to grow. That's there right, Kirsten. There you go. All right, super popular. If they're in your, in your cart, in fact, anything that's in your cart, you've got to check out because it's going very fast. We've already sold out of a whole bunch of things.